All right, and today's game is going to be the demo of Fear the Moon, which, if I remember right, takes place in Ohio, which is where I'm from, which is instant bonus points right there. But yeah, I know very little about this game. Um, it has something to do with the... Uh, with the uh, Ohio Wolfman, I believe. I don't know. If I'm wrong, it'll pop up on the screen correcting myself. <laughs> yeah, it just came out uh, eight days ago. I'm excited. Uh, I will link their, uh, like usual, their itch.io. And uh, this game is coming out on Steam as well. So I'll link that in the description as well. That dream again. Well, I guess I should get up anyway. 2.30? Please tell me that's p.m. Okay, it looks like it is p.m. Good. Oh, well, you can interact with a lot of stuff. Okay. Phone. Cues notifications. Oh, it looks like Melissa called me. I guess I should call her back. Okay, so Q looks like it's just interact. Hey Jane, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I hope you've been alright. Melissa. Yeah, I've been great actually, just busy. How about you? Doing alright, not dead. <laughs> that is always good to hear. That's good to hear, I was beginning to wonder. Can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, I'm going to be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? That'd be great. Yeah, Jack actually had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend, like old times. Would you be interested? Yeah, that'd be fun. What's the occasion? It's a secret. Oh, come on. Nope, you'll have to wait. Fine, fine. Ominous music? Oh, okay, just going right to it. <laughs> somewhere, Ohio. Please tell me somewhere is actually a city name in Ohio. That'd be, that'd be just beautiful. Ooh, wolf vision? Well, we're here. This is the campsite? Yeah! Nice, isn't it? I don't know. Nah, this this is a nice campsite. All that flat ground. Like, that is amazing. I like it. I'm sorry, Jane. Or, not Jane, Melissa. Yeah, we can have a good fire. We used to hang out near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we shouldn't start getting things. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, da -da. Stroke! Oh, well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. Six p.m. Chapter one: Reunion. Give me a task. What am I doing? I can help set up a tent. Do you want me to do that? No? Oh, I'm great at drinking beer. Hot dogs. Alright, got some hot dogs. Hoping I can taunt a wolfy boy with that. Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa wouldn't really take no for an answer. But yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Now I feel like Melissa really didn't... She really didn't push the camping trip a whole lot, right? She just asked if we wanted to go and we're like, yeah, sure. Looks like we forgot to buy firewood on the way here. Melissa won't be too happy about that. Yeah, there might be some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. Do you think you could go grab it? 
Sure, how do I get there? Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh, it's not too far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right, I'll see what I can do. Cool, it's going to get dark soon though, so you should take this. Boy, do I get a lantern. Oh, great. All right, try not to get lost. I will try my best. All right, you can equip items or view objectives through your inventory. It can be opened by pressing tab or I. Okay, oh, quick slot. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have two items. Might as well just... Wait, what? Can I not... All right, I guess I cannot quick slot the hot dogs. So, oh wait, am I supposed to? Ah, well, I hear dog noises already. I don't like that. Melissa, help, please. I'll be honest, I don't remember what direction he told me to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's birds? <gasps> and here we see the elusive trash panda in its natural habitat. Oh, look how majestically he digs through the bins. Let's go poke it with a stick. Oh! Oh no! It's angry! Oh, please no! <laughs> it's what I thought. Run away. Definitely not scared of that thing. Wait, okay, so there was... Oi! Bugger off. Alright. So, okay, this is an outhouse, not a cabin. Oh. It said they stalk the woods at night, forever starving, forever in pain, aching to fill their empty stomachs, to feast on meat and organs. And once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. Oh. That's not ominous at all. Neither is this a giant clump of trees in texture. All right, so I do have a sprint bar. I'll have to keep my eye on that. Oh, dude, a house? Oh my God. May I help you, James? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you better be. What were you saying? The house, you can see it from here. Yes, what about the house? Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. Be sure to get, or be sure not to get lost out here. Yeah, friggin' weirdo. Ooh, shack key. Pick up the screwdriver? Okay, so James is the wolf man, right? Creepy guy. Okay, no, he didn't teleport. He's just walking down the path. Okay, but I still... Looks like a cage. What is it doing all the way out here? That is a very good question. I still need to get firewood, though. I'll be honest, I was not paying attention to the beginning of the recording. I have no clue where that is. Uh, I think I went that way before. This is the way in. Yeah, that's not the right way. Didn't think so. Alright, so there's only two paths. He said the cabin. They're not talking about the house, right? Like, the house isn't what I'm supposed to be going after. Let's
Let's go this way. I walked past the trash panda the other time. Okay, yep, cabin. Okay. What dark hell am I about to encounter? Okay, this is usually where firewood would be kept. Oh no, no door on that side hatch there. He's watching you. Fear the moon. Oh, they said the name of the game in the game. Accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. <laughs> I think the key should be somewhere in that abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. At least reeks. Well, that's lovely. So there's eyes on this window. I have a bad feeling when I get close. Oh, no jump scare. Oh. All right. Shack key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, something definitely died in here. It's gotten pretty dark, I should head out. Okay, no items I need to pick up. Damn, it has... Nope, we're uh... We're just chilling. Yeah, no need to leave the stink room. I like the stink room. He's watching me. All right, well, let's just get to it. Oh, hi, friend. Oh. Don't like that. James, James. <laughs> There's something there. Help me. Wait, you're James, right? Yeah, and you're... Uh, don't remember your name. Sorry. Who am I talking to? What? Okay. Firewood. Oh no, yeah, you are James, okay. Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. Not a ghost, a doggo. I heard something weird in the woods. Oh, what did it sound like? I don't know, like a wolf or something. Oh, that's strange. Wolves haven't been anywhere near this area in like 200 years or something. Are you sure it wasn't a bobcat? Their scream sounds like a person dying. Yeah, it does. Bobcats and uh, baby foxes sound kind of terrifying. Maybe it was the wolf man. <laughs> Come on now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. Why well, he could be real. You know the stories too. Yeah, I do. And it's made up. What's the wolf man? Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks did you have that night? Uh, I don't know, a few. Same. Uh-huh. I really did see something though. It was big and tall with bright eyes. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? <laughs> Maybe. I cannot believe you. I'm sure it was probably nothing. Just freaked me out a bit is all. Yeah, even if a wolf did find its way around here, we're probably fine. Just stay near the camp. Can we get this fire started? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I am ready to relax. Fine, fine, I'll get it started. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. Like, a lot of dialogue. Oh, 
happening. The suspenseful music. Ooh, black screen. Ah, the full moon. Jane, what are you looking at? Huh? Oh, sorry. It's just that it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure, it's pretty fun. Or sure, blah. sure is pretty, huh? <laughs> well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Uh... You know, that is a pretty moon. Alright, I'm done. Oh, I need a bowl first. Okay. Do I need to get a fork or a spoon or anything? Since you're making me get a bowl. I need a bowl first, what? Oh, you have to whip the bowl. Now come over. I should sit down before I eat. Wow, this is very specific. Oh, now I can eat. <laughs> Gross slurp noises. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Last slurp? <laughs> cool. <laughs> How's it going? Gonna tell us a cool story. So nice to see you guys again. Yeah, I'm glad I ended up coming. It's been a while, hasn't it? Since we were all together. Yeah, almost a year now. You were right, the sky looks nice out here. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice to get away from all the light pollution. So. You guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? I would love to. Sure, tell me. Hey, I know I can be obsessive with cryptid stuff sometimes, but this one is really creepy. Okay, sure. What's the Wolfman? Okay, so it's an urban legend out here about the man that used to be, or that used to own this property. He disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left and instead turned into a wolfman that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals, and even humans. That sounds silly. It actually gets more twisted than that. He had sort of an animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and take care of, and he lived completely alone aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew. No one knew was gone for a long time? When someone finally came out to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death. Locked inside rooms and cages, scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. That is awful. <laughs> that is truly bad. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. Some say it was the owner himself that ate them after he turned into the wolf man. But really, it's just stories told to try and keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to be made up from the things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. Yeah, Melissa's asking the important questions. Why are we out here then? For all time's sake, plus all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at any old campground, would you? Mm, yeah, probably. It's okay, the most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. I don't know, dude, that raccoon was pretty vicious. Oh, and Jack here. Dangerously handsome, maybe. Blech. So we hope Jap. Jeez. We hope Jack dies first, right? Ten PM.
Oh, finally, I can get up. And the dialogue never ends. It's been nice catching up, but I don't think... Or, but I think I'm going to head to bed. Yeah, same. Today has me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. Oh, right. Oh, are they married? Just say it. Whoa, they're getting married. Whoa. So they are the first to die. Yep, finally decided to tie the knot. Wow, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. And of course, I'm hoping you'll be my mess, my best man, bro. I am having so many speech problems today. I joked about a stroke earlier, but I'm starting to wonder. Uh, yeah, for sure, man. And I want you to be there too, Jane, just like we used to talk about as kids. Sure, wouldn't miss it. The dialogue between these people is really awkward sometimes. Like, when someone asks you to be your best man, do you really reply with, um, yeah. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out a little longer, I think. Alright, you two have fun. Sup, James? You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Uh, I think I actually much rather sleep in the van, to be honest. Oh, the dog. He's at the cabin. <gasps> and they're going to the cabin. 12 a.m. Fire is out. Moon is up in the sky. Screams filling the forest. Did I just hear a scream? Yes, Jane, you did. It sounded like it came from that old shack. I should make sure everyone's okay. Well... Seems empty. I wonder where James went. Oh, so I can unlock that. Which methinks might be important later. Okay, so I can't check the tents. Oh, bong. I don't remember partaking in any of that. Oh, yes. Pick up the lantern. Whip. Yeah, so where'd my hot dogs go? I had hot dogs earlier. Was I supposed to give those to the trash panda? I think I might have missed out on some important information. Wonder where our little friend went. I too wonder where our trash panda went. Maybe he is the wolf man. Ooh. Jumps out from around a tree. It's just the raccoon. Oh, what are you? Oh my god! Ah! Uh, I thought I remembered opening that door the other way. Okay, so I have to hold right click to lift, left click to swing. Alright, what's up, Melissa? What happened here? You're gonna get drugged through the window. I don't know, me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. It all happened so fast, I couldn't really tell what was happening. But I think Jack is hurt, like really hurt. But this thing, it was so big and fast, it just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing. I think we have to get out of here. I don't know if we can help him. <laughs> At least not on our own. Okay, we should go get help. Yes, we need to get to the van, but Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here somewhere. We have to find them. Oh, 
All right. I got the keys, Melissa. Hey, I found the van keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Jack, is that you? Are you alive? Well, goodbye. I, uh, open the door. I have to get out of here. Yeah, chain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think? Okay. I sure hope no big wolfy boy appears. I would hate to have to use this big bat on you. Hey, get in the car! Hurry up! Whew. Why do I have to look behind? What? Well, goodbye, world. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Not my arm. <laughs> oh, I'm getting drug away. Ah, to the house, right. All right. Well, I guess that was chapter one. Uh, of Fear the Moon. Uh, looks like the full game is coming out in the second quarter of 2024, so that's not too far away. Yeah, that was pretty okay. It was, uh, it was very dialogue heavy, which I'm not super crazy about. Like, di dialogue's not a bad thing, but I don't know, some of the dialogue felt a little bit clunky and off if that makes any sense at all but yeah i still say that's worth playing that was actually pretty fun i'd probably give that like uh ah, i don't know i'd probably give that like a seven out of ten compared to some of the others i've played it was nice i'm excited to see uh what happens next actually see what the full game is like uh, and if it uses the same intro or if that was more of like a concept of the game anyway i'm rambling at this point so i hope you guys enjoyed if there is any other games you'd like us to play please mention that down in the comments we'd really appreciate it and we'd also really appreciate if you subscribe and like the video everything helps like it genuinely genuinely does help us out